Welcome back. Pally on the sport in Paris. Michael Chevallo, Mike Angoven. Mike, it's our reserve fight for the tournament. Tony Gregory versus Peter Mastrovic. No back fist. No elbow, no knee, well, no Tony catch. Gregory, it's he's okay. a French fighter. Okay. He's a very, very Good awkward fight. fighter. We haven't Good seen too him. much of him, although I did see him fight in the last K1 Judge. Paris. Judge. He doesn't look Judge. like much. He looks Time. like a bit of a plotter, but he just seems to fight. hit so hard and he's so oh, yeah. unorthodox that he will, he will create problems for a fighter like Maestrovic. Maestrovic has started off as a conventional fighter, but he is actually a southpaw. Maestrovic takes an inside thigh kick to that rear leg in the red and gold Gregory in the flaming red and white with the blue band and the warped haircut outside thigh kick to the lead leg there from Gregory Mastrovic returns the favour oh beautiful punch combination rib kick there from Gregory all locked up in the centre ring referee separates both men noticed early on that uh, Mastrovic was ducking his head and threw in the left uppercut and bobbled up Mastrovic's head and there again leading with the left hook gunning down low with the low kick doubling up on the body shot nicely Mastrovic can't fight him too much here he can't afford to let a much bigger fighter which Tony Gregory is just walk up to him and start whopping on him like that good short uppercutting close there from Gregory he started off very well especially with the slick handiwork and putting together his combinations nicely here in the opening stands a high right round kick from the Frenchman Gregory pops out the jab goes for the uppercut second one found the target jab right hand up the center corridor there from Gregory Mastrovic ties him up in center ring nice little counter right hand from Mastrovic on the inside but I think Gregory has a plan he's gone to the uppercut several times already against the shorter fighter and there we see it again. Left uppercut, uh, chopping down right hook. Maestrovic still counterfighting. He's a better fighter than this. He doesn't need to do it. Doubling up on the body shot, then up the head. Up to the head there by Gregory. Solid leg checks from Peter Maestrovic. Takes a right hook to the head. Gregory might have tried the knee there, but not permitted in France, of course, folks. So you won't see any knees here tonight in the K1. As no. Maestrovic checks the low kick. Another uppercut there from Gregory. He's found a home for it. Setting it up well with the right hand. Body shots. He's noticed here Gregory is really pushing Maestrovic off balance. Good He's high left round kick off the lead leg. Switch up left, left kick and switching it up well there with the right leg as well off the jab. Really Gregory. dominating the early part of this fight, oh, Gregory. He's owning him early on here, Mike, that's for sure. What can Maestrovic do? And again, Gregory just snaking that right hand through the guard of the Swiss fighter with the Croatian name. Outside thigh kicks, two in a row there from Gregory. Jab, hook, outside thigh kick. It's good combination work, and it is going to score on the judges' scorecards. Well, he's certainly the bigger man by stature, and right now he's spanking him like a small child as well. Uppercut, low kick again. Maestrovic taking a lot of punishment early on, really being pushed around by the bigger man. Body shot, low kick again. Maestrovic has got to go to work. He cannot afford to stand in front of Tony Gregory the way he is fighting tonight. 40 seconds remaining here in the opening round and this is Gregory in front of his home crowd and he's here to please all and sundry and he's doing a stellar job at the moment as he edges forward again on Mastrovic. Mastrovic of course his last outing here he was knocked out badly by Remy Bogansky he was out for about 10 minutes so Paris hasn't been a fruitful ground for him so far. End of the first stands up we go to the towels and you've got to lock that one away to the Frenchman Tony Gregory. It's certainly an interesting haircut. He's, uh, oh, that was class, mate. <laughs> Must have known he was on camera. Put it on specially. Yeah, she knows she's on camera as well, Mikey. I yeah, wonder what the crowd were cheering about all of a sudden. And there's your reason. As we have a look at what happened in the first round. Well, we see there Gregory pushing him off balance, going upstairs. But he was able all fight to push Maestrovic off balance. And there we see that uppercut, which, uppercut, which he used to great effect throughout the round. And once again, boom, right on the button and a bit of claret running from the nose of Maestrovic. OK, we're rolling second round of action set for three. Our reserve fight. If a fighter is injured in the main tournament, the winner of this one, and so far it's Tony Gregory, will go through and replace them. Of course, a lot on the line here tonight, Mike, in that eight-man tournament. Oh, and he's hurt him in the knee. He really has hurt the knee there. We saw Maestrovic just limp away there and Gregory started to come on strong 
He's taken a lot of punishment so far to those legs, Mike. He really has got to start doing something about it. I actually thought Mastrovich might have taken a shot to the groin earlier on, but no one else saw it, so maybe I was a little bit disillusioned there. Nice check from Mastrovich. Tries to wade through with the right hand. Edges forward again, and the Swissman really needs to turn it on. And Gregory's corner... Just keeping a close eye on things. I really have to wonder why Mestrovic is fighting as a conventional fighter. He's a southpaw. He's been fighting southpaw for years. Nice body shots. The first body shots we've seen from Mestrovic on the inside. <laughs> Tony Gregory with a lead right hand and following up again. But now Mestrovic going to work, doing a little bit more work, but still really being pounded by those baseball like kicks. Nice straight right hand through the centre corridor again there from Mestrovic. Just hasn't got the mustard behind them to do any real damage here on Tony Gregory. He's becoming a bit of a one-trick pony too, just trying to slide the right hand over the jab of Gregory. And we saw it there again, just clip him on the back of the head. It was effective that time, but he really needs to follow it with an uppercut or a left hook and not just throw the single shot because Gregory is coming on tonight and he's on fire. Well, Gregory's punches, like a little of a sting they had in the opening round, but still doing enough to keep ahead here on the judges' scorecards. And for the sole reason me that Mastrovic just really isn't doing anything. Good high right round kick there from Gregory. And there's a glimpse at Mastrovic's corner. And they must be concerned that their fighter really isn't firing up here in Centurion. Notice that this corner's got a matching haircut as well. <laughs> must be a night for the, uh, the hairdressers here in Paris. Tell you what, Mike, if I had hair, I'd get mine done like Tony Gregory's. <laughs> that looks awesome. Pops you up the jab, does Gregory. Ties him up. As we said earlier, no knees permitted under French fighting rules. Only region in the world you'll find a K-1 fight without knees, folks, right here in France. What we haven't seen from Mastrovic is he's gone away from his earlier roots as a Sado Kaikan practitioner, doubling up on the, tripling up on the kick, uppercut, low kick. Mastrovic, just a walking, breathing kick bag right now. Mastrovic thought about the turning back kick, should have gone for it. Goes with the overhand right, connects to the side of the jaw, but nothing to phase Tony Gregory here in the second round as the seconds tick down. And it is all one-way traffic thus far to the Frenchman, Tony Gregory. Front kick from Gregory. Mastrovic just parries it out of the way. Pops the jab. Rips down to the right side of the body. Double forearm guard against Gregory's round kick off the right leg. So he switches up to the left leg now, that's Tony Gregory. Tony Gregory would just have a little bit more effect for those high kicks. He just rolled his toe down at the moment. They're just going up, but he's not bringing it down on the neck or the shoulder. That's from Gregory. Outside side kick from the Frenchman. And there you go, Michael Chevello. You did call it right. There was a little bit of a groin shot there. Must have had my eyes closed during that one, Mike. I was the only one that saw it, Mike. 15,000 people at the Pali on the sport. And when we return, the next round. They talk tough. We're going to win it. I'm telling you, we're winning this race. It is going to be so 